It's finally time! Brandon Sanderson's boxes have finally started shipping out after all these crazy delays and after all the waiting that we've done for literally a year, I finally got my January box. See, look at that, it finally arrived. I see by magic. So about a year ago, we all heard about secret projects number one through four and a whole Kickstarter campaign happened and we all spent a ton of money on four books and maybe some goodies about some book series. Still mind boggling to me how much money he made on this project. I am no longer Brandon Sanderson. I am B Money. Just for the four secret project hardbacks, this cost me $160 to get this box and three others that are coming throughout the year. Not to mention if someone wanted the 12 months of Sanderson boxes, that was like $500 plus shipping. <laughs> Crazy to me, absolutely wild. But there were lots of promises made about these books and a lot of us are wondering, is this even worth it investing that kind of money in? So let's take a look inside the box. I gotta start by saying I absolutely love this packaging. This looks like quality, like a fairy loot or a luma craze. It just looks really nice. One of my favorite things here on the side, it says air on the side of awesome, which is awesome. Another text here, creating our worlds to inspire yours. Love that, love that so much. All right, inside. Oh, look at that, a third text on the box. A story doesn't live until it is imagined in someone's mind. Okay, I'm sorry, that one's, that one's kind of dumb. It says it's by Wit, I'm assuming that is a Stormlight character that I don't know about yet, because I've only read Mistborn. I know, I know, I'm so sorry. Back to the box. So inside this box, the first thing we have is a Dragonsteel card that says, SPOILER WARNING! Yeah, uh, I think it just gives some information about the box. At this point, if you, you know, aren't ready to be spoiled, then like, what are you doing? Next thing in the box is literally one of my favorite things ever. And I cannot believe that I got lucky enough to get a Vin lapel pin. Vin the Minion, you're so cute. Yeah. <laughs> Next comes the sparkly bookmark. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. This bookmark's nice. I know that this is part of the illustration that's inside the book and I think they did a really good job with this. One thing I don't like about this bookmark is it's just way too thick. Like I do not want this big of a bookmark in my book because if I leave this in my book, it's going to eventually damage the pages because of how thick this bookmark is. It really needs to be uh, like a thinner paper material. So I don't know, really like the art, don't really care for the size or style of this bookmark. I'm definitely a paper bookmark kind of guy. Underneath the bookmark is this sticker right here. This is just a beautiful like cover art illustration sticker. Looks like, I'm assuming this is Tress with the moon and I think they did uh, a really fun job. It's time for the epic bookmark. Sadly, this epic bookmark doesn't really mean much to me because I have not read the Stormlight Archive and I don't know who this is. But on the back, I do love that it shows the different Cosmere planets on here. And I don't know if this has a significance for um, the person on the front, but it says World Hopper and I think this is really nice. I will probably never use a bookmark this size just because it just seems massive, but it is better than the sparkly bookmark. It is definitely of a thinner um, paper, but it's, it's heavy duty, so this isn't gonna rip easy. So I will say that's nice. It's just huge. I don't know if I really want to use a bookmark this big. And now we finally made it to dun, 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 Tress of the Emerald Sea. So we're finally down to the star of the show, Tress of the Emerald Sea hardback book. This book is really nice. I will say like holding this in my hand, it feels really good. Like this does not feel like a normal hardcover book. It doesn't feel quite as nice as some of his other special edition books like Mistborn or the um, the Way of Kings Leatherbounds that I have up here on top. They actually made it match his Leatherbounds. So if you are a collector of the Leatherbounds, you can actually put these together and there won't be a major difference. It's got some sparkle to it. And I think that's from the beautiful foiling that they did here on the front and the back. And so on the back, it gives a brief description of the book, which is really nice because a lot of time these special editions don't include any kind of description. And I think that's just really great to have that there, not to mention it's foiled. Plus, while this is not, you know, fox leather, this is a paper that feels like leather. So I guess in a way it is fox leather. Is all fox leather paper that feels like leather? But this cover feels really nice again. I think that the actual material is really good. It feels really sturdy. It feels like it's gonna last a long time. So let's see if that's true or not. Sadly, when it comes to the binding quality of this book, I think this book is just glued and not sewn. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with glue bound books, especially even special edition. I know some of you aren't. You've even made comments on past videos like this one here, but you know, 
But if that's a deal breaker for you, I totally understand. Not every book can be bound, you know, sewn bound like his other editions. This is your friendly neighborhood warning that if you do not want to know any spoilers for inside this book, please do not go any further than right here because I'm going to be walking through each and every illustration. I have no idea what they mean, but they definitely give away clues from inside the book. And if you don't want to know what those clues are, then just skip past this section. When you open the book, you get this beautiful end paper here with some teacups and some sort of other bigger mug. They did a phenomenal job with this end cover design and I'm really glad they did because I think end papers are really important and they add a lot to books. Sadly, I did not opt for the signed editions of this book. And maybe one day I can go somewhere and get him to sign this edition for me, but I'm okay with that. I'm okay with just being a part of this whole experience. One of the promises of this Kickstarter was that inside the book, there were going to be one to four illustrations. All right, so illustration number one. This is the same as the bookmark. It just absolutely gorgeous getting to see the whole thing. You can see Tress sitting there with the green moon behind her. All right, next we have this awesome colored illustration of Tress holding a pistol. And she's got like, this is amazing. She looks like someone you don't want to mess with and I am absolutely here for it. That is an amazing piece of artwork. I love this so much. Next we have a dragon. This is why I love illustrations in books because they really help bring the story to life and really help you picture what the book's talking about. Or sometimes better than our own. I know that you don't want to hear that, but it's true. Finally, the last double spread illustration is this beautiful artwork of what looks like some sort of magical standoff between someone who looks like maybe from the future versus someone from the past. So super curious to see what's going on there. In fact, this guy almost looks like this guy so it makes you wonder are these related i don't know but they have the same hairstyle so so now we've gone through everything the question remains was this worth 50 dollars for one book i've asked this question several times before for other book subscriptions is it really worth paying 40 to 50 to 60 to 70 dollars a month for a book and maybe a couple goodies well i think if you're a true book lover and really like brandon sanderson then i definitely think yes this is an awesome special edition and I really think that this is a step up from a lot of the other special editions that we have out there that are going for a similar price range. Those are just as expensive as this and I think that you actually got a lot more for your money with a much nicer quality book that's probably going to last a lot longer than their books that they send. But ultimately I think yes, I think that the secret project number one was a success and I think that it is worth the money and I am really glad I got it. So that's the inside of secret project number one. Make sure to subscribe if you wanna see what secret project number two is because I should be receiving that in the next month or so and I cannot wait to do a whole unboxing of it just like this video. So yeah, that's secret project number one. Thanks for watching.